Hey, what's up everybody? E. Rivera, 94, bringing another action figure review, and today we're going to take a look at the Max Factory Good Smile Company Figma Deadpool figure. So, this has been uh, quite anticipated by most people, and um, so we're going to take a look at him, I'm going to see what he's all about, see if I like him or not, see if he uh, is better than the... Um in the Hasbro version, I guess, because Hasbro's been pumping out some pretty good ones, you know, some good ones. So, we'll see how Figma Figma does here. This is the deluxe version, so this comes with the underwear, leg, pants, or whatever, the pant legs, uh, that you will see right, uh, well, not there, there you go, with the hearts on it. So, there's the sides, this is EX42, um, that's what it says right there. There's the other side, it comes with a burrito. Alright, so there you can really see the boxers and all that, so an alternate uh, lower half of the figure, I guess. So, anyways, let's take a look at him out of the box and see how he looks. That's how he comes right out of the package, just like this. We have him strapped with some pistols here on his holsters, and then that's it right there. So we do have separate weapons and accessories. Of course, this is the Deluxe Edition, so it comes with plenty of accessories. But the regular accessories that he comes with, there is plenty too. So let's get right into the accessories before we dive into the figure. Uh, we do have his katanas holstered right here. So these are not, uh, you're not able to take these out at all. So this is just to peg into his back. There is a peg hole back there. So that goes right there. And then you have him with his katanas. Now we do have several katanas too, so you can hold them once you don't have them holstered. So here they are. And we have another pistol and revolver. So to remove these is all you do is simply grab it and that's it. That's your pistol. That's your holstered pistol. It comes out with a strap. So when you have him holding the revolver, there's no strap and then it's out. So you can't put this one in there. So you're going to want to put in the uh, half revolver. Same goes for the Glock over here. Whatever type of pistol this is, so you can see right there. So that's if you want him holding it, then take that out so it makes more sense. Or maybe have one holstered and have one being held. Maybe he has dual wields of the same weapon, you know. So there is that. We do have the Deadpool face on right now, which is this one right here. Take a close look at the eyes because that's what we're going to see different here. Uh, we have this one with the eyes kind of like, uh, I don't know, happy or being foolish, right? Being silly like he always is. And then we have this one kind of squinting one eye one eye is bigger so you can see that right there we get our figma stand all wrapped in here not sure you guys can see it but it's right there and our hand dock with all the hands got open hands grabbing hands pistol hands and then it looks like an under barrel hand not sure got some more hands over here an extra uh, joint peg whatever so that's interesting. So those are the normal ones that it comes with. We do also have a little knife. So there is the little knife. So I believe that is all the regular edition accessories, which is quite, you know, it's, it's a good amount. But then we get this little box here uh, if you got the deluxe edition. So this comes behind the figure in the box. And then once you open it, we do get another baggie in here with more accessories. So here we have his legs. This is the boxers uh, underwear alternate leg here so you want to want to take off the legs he has now and then put these on there if you want this then we do have some more weapons some size and then some some uh, rifles dual wielding rifles it seems like and then we have his separate head with the burrito eating face and the actual burrito and then another hand to hold the burrito close to look at the burrito uh it's not very detailed uh, you can see where he took where he takes the bite out of right here and you don't see anything inside of it. It's just all yellow-ish, right? So, not much detail on the tortilla. Also, the face. There he is chewing on it. So, there you have it. So, it's okay. They made the skin tone uh, kind of pale. So, this is not like uh, the movie where it's kind of pinkish, flesh-colored, uh, like freshly burned. Maybe he's been burned for a while and he's older or something. It's just white now, but... Uh, he's kind of pale on the, you know, on his skin there, on his burnt skin. All right, so let's finally take a look at Deadpool, and we, let's see him from top to bottom now. You can see this outfit looks good. I like the outfit. It looks very similar to the uh, Hasbro one when it comes to the shin guards right here. That is that, but you know, he's kind of slim, skinny. This is kind of what Figma does. And we got our standard Figma ball joints here on the on the um, 
on the elbows there. And then if you look behind the knees, you're going to see that type of joint there. They also like to put, you know, they articulate everything. Like you can see right here, that's kind of on a ball joint. So this holster is articulated. So that's interesting. Uh, so it's not bad. You know, it, this is clearly it's not. Whoa, look at that. So this does move around. Clearly, this is not SH Figuarts, so it's very different. I, you know, I prefer the Figma over Revel Tech, that's for sure, because Revel Tech's got those even more massive ball joints that click like crazy. These don't click, at least, and they're not all over the place. But you can see they do use that ball joint almost everywhere. You can see his shoulders, especially. Look at the shoulders, kind of leaving like a little gap there. I don't know how I feel about that. Eh, it's okay, I guess. Not the best, but... You know, while we're on it, let's take a look at the articulation. We got the head does move left and right, goes up and down. So good motion all around. Got the neck moving too. You can even see another ball joint underneath the neck. So ball joints everywhere, guys, everywhere. So you do see a line, kind of a, a little gap going on there on the head, because of course you can swap out the faces, and it looks like you can just take it off right off the head right there. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Arms go forward and back, they go in and out, so lots of good range of motion there. The bicep swivel is pretty much non-existent, it's not there, but we do have a shoulder swivel. Uh, so it's okay, kind of a socket going on there with that joint on the shoulder. Elbows are double jointed right here, they do swivel at the forearm. I swivel at the wrist with a hinge, looks like it's on a, oh, there you go, there's the peg, in case you guys were wondering. So, it's a hinge right there, it's not a ball joint, but it does hinge. And it does swivel as so. Torso does swivel. Diaphragm joint, I guess you can say. Forward and back. Good motion there. You got some waist articulation going as well. So good. Good job there. Also, the, the paint job's good. Everything's nice and clean, uh, as you guys can see already. So, yeah. So, legs go forward and back, as you see right there, in and out. And you can see, that, wow, well, the sheath just fell. And then you can see the holster over here kind of going crazy so swivel at the thigh double jointed knees that bend very nicely got the ankles swiveling left and right there's an ankle pivot good range of motion there forward and back there's a toe hinge as well so good good motion there too also i'm not sure if i showed it but there is a a little sheath for the knife let's see if it fits good put it in there and yeah so unlike the pistols this one actually goes in the holster and you don't have to put a half blade in there you know it's the same blade so there's that in the back as you can see he's highly articulated which is figma's uh you know speciality figma pretty much any import you know is good articulation you can get them into poses unlike other you know action figure lines so that's good i like the range of motion on this guy's good articulation and he looks good he doesn't look funky doesn't look weird looks like deadpool looks nice so not bad at all so putting the other face into good use here we got him kind of squinting uh almost like he's i don't know what how can you describe this face like he's making a joke like he's maybe smirking or laughing or whatever so i kind of pose him up with the hands open like hey or i don't know who knows what he's saying at this point so what i see in this figure is a lot of Fun factor, I'm stealing one out of J.R.E. Nightmare's book here. Uh, fun factor here is, is you know, it seems like you can do a lot with this figure. This figure is expensive, though, but it feels like you can do a lot with it. A lot of accessories here, guys. Lots of accessories and good. Even though it's only pretty much three faces, and then, of course, if you count this one, but it's not as much faces as you would think, but I still feel like you can get a lot of... Uh, things, poses, and, uh, you know, fun out of this figure. Okay, so he is not that easy to, uh, to change out like that. It almost feels like you're gonna break him, to be quite honest. When I was taking out the regular pants, the regular legs, it honestly does feel like you're gonna break him. So you, all you have to really do is pop out these legs outwards, do it this way, and then that will remove this, because it's just a loose piece, so that the the pegs stay on the figure because the torso comes apart. Everything comes apart in this figure pretty much. So move the legs outwards and then take it out and then take off the uh, the groin area. Put in the new one and then put the legs in and then voila. But still, it, it took force to just pop the leg out. It took a lot of force. It made a big snap. It was you know it was very scary for uh, what this figure is worth. Um, you know, breaking that would really suck. And then of course, all you have to do is 
uh, it slide the boot off right there. These are a little easier than the actual legs. So, but yeah, there you have it. Those are the legs. So let's take a closer look at those. See the scars going on there. So again with the paleness. So they went with that that pale color for the skin tone. Then you got these random big joints on the back, which always look ugly. But what are you gonna do? That's just how they do it. It's just how you know Max Factory, Good Smile Company, whatever. That's how they do it. But, I mean, they bend like crazy. Look at that. I mean, that's articulation right there. Look at that. Now now you can't see them, right? You see them on the front, though. <laughs> Those are your knees. And it's a different skin tone than the rest of the, of the skin. So that kind of sucks. They should have matched it, you know? But there you have it. Those are his heart underwear boxers. That's cool, though. I like how that comes with that. Of course, you're going to have to pay a lot more for the deluxe version to get this. Uh, the regular one does not. Also, he does have his burrito. I'm sure you guys already looked at it. So there's the burrito. Quick high comparison here, Figma the Hippo just got him to head, so he's holding his head right there. He's got a little head going on there. We got him next to the X-Force Hasbro Marvel Legends right here. You can see how bulkier he is. He's a lot muscular. He's a lot, well, not a lot taller, but a tad bit taller. I know Figma the has got his head on the side there, but you can definitely tell he's going to be taller than him anyways. Uh, Hasbro always makes larger figures and, you know, imports, so that's, a, that's to be expected. But, the, you know, there's the bulkiness and the muscularness. <laughs> Complete difference. I mean, look look at how ripped he is there and then how uh, not ripped he is on Figma there. So, But next to uh, Marvel Legends, yeah, they don't scale together. So. All right, guys, and that concludes my review on the Max Factory Good Smile Company Figma Deadpool figure. Any Deadpool fan is going to enjoy this figure. Any ACBA fan, anybody that likes to pose their figures, and have fun with it. This is a figure for you. This figure is f just full with accessories and posability and just fun. You know, very, very fun. Very awesome figure. And I highly recommend this figure. I mean, it, you can get this guy in poses that, you know, you can never get a Hasbro Marvel Legend into. You can never, sometimes you can't even get an SH figure into, you know? So this figure is. It's top notch. I think this is one of the best Deadpool figures out there. Very awesome figure. I didn't even touch the Rebel Tech one. I just don't like Rebel Tech that much, and that one didn't interest me as much. So I can't say which is better. But I can say this one is fantastic. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys would like, and don't forget to have a great day.